Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about incomplete dominance and co-dominance. Gregor Mendel is the father of genetics. He is famous for his pea plants. He would cross pea plants and study the offsprings. The traits he studied had two alleles and one would mask the other trait. However, life does not always act this way. Sometimes you get a mixing of traits or both traits appear. In other words, a third phenotype. In this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between incomplete dominance and co-dominance. With incomplete dominance, when you cross two individuals with two different phenotypes, you get a third phenotype that is a blending. You end, with, end up with something that is in between. Think of mixing paints. If you mix red and white, you get an in-between color, which is pink. Blue and yellow is green, again in-between. Here are some real-life examples. The snapdragon is a mix between a white and red flower, and you get an in-between color, which is pink, an example of incomplete dominance. This hen is the offspring of a white and black parent, and you get this in-between color which is kind of gray and kind of blue. With co-dominance, both traits appear. Remember, co means together, like cooperate, which means working together. One common example involves a white and brown cow, and you get a spotted cow, which is both white and brown. A speckled chicken is an example of co-dominance. The black and white alias cooperate and both appear together. A four o'clock plant is another example of the both alleles appearing. They are cooperating and appearing together. So there we go, the difference between incomplete dominance, which is blending, and co-dominance, which is both of them cooperating and both appearing. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.